In the news this week, there's been some interesting stories. Um, first one I like to call, it's all about the Sens. In a recent Q&A on Instagram, uh, Adam Mosari, uh, the head of Instagram, highlighted the increasing that increasing your post's reach hinges more on send rates, the likelihood that, your use, that users will share your content rather than metrics like likes or comments. He emphasized that shares per reach are a better indicator of overall visibility because Instagram aims to promote content that encourages connections among users. This approach marks a shift from previous emphasis on engagement metrics to pr prioritize content focusing on sharing. So this is kind of an interesting one on my end, doing a lot of social work, and I was doing a social strategy today, in fact, um, where, yeah, you've always kind of thought of reach and, and the spread of a piece of content is directly related to the engagement that we see likes, comments, etc. But this whole idea of sharing between users through messaging, etc., is something that's a little bit new and hasn't really come up much. But I just found that really interesting to to see that there's this other thing, you know, the algorithm has so many different things at play, but this other thing that maybe we hadn't really thought much about, and he came out right out and said this, this plays a critical role. Yes, it is interesting. Um, I think to me, the, the news that the, the CEO came out and said is, is as interesting as the, the, uh, the information itself, because the, the algorithm has always been a bit of a black box sort of thing. We have ideas of what's causing um, your engagement to go up or down or the kinds of things that they're looking for, but they've never, or, or it's rare that they come out and actually say, if you do this, your engagement will go up kind of yeah. thing, you know, or yeah. your reach will go up. Yeah. Um, and they've, they've added the send icon now which i don't believe was there before with the number you know you've always had the the number of um yeah. likes or whatever but next to it they've added the send one now as well so you can see how well your content is being shared so that is it is interesting yeah and you know what i appreciate when people in charge do drop those nuggets like mm -hmm. i know you and i both spend a lot of time on youtube mm -hmm. and i know like even on the creator side of youtube back in youtube studio they'll drop little things over on the side or on the blog i know there's a um a youtube liaison on tiktok he works at youtube he does videos on youtube but i see mm -hmm. him on tiktok and he regularly answers questions about you know should i repost a video that didn't do really well really well and you know i appreciate that there's some transparency there mm -hmm. um because i think when you you are somebody that's posting on social, attempting to get reach for yourself or for your business. A little bit of, you know, inside info can help you. So, yes, absolutely. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, second little s story that came out too uh, this past week, X has released some new usage statistics aimed at enticing advertisers as it moves into the second half of the year. Despite conflicting reports, X claims it's experiencing monthly user growth with 570 million people logging in monthly, marking a 6% increase year over year. Daily user seconds have reached 361.9 billion, and daily video views have surged by 45% to 8.2 billion. However, X hasn't disclosed daily active users, which have remained stagnant for 250 million since November of 2022. This raises some discrepancies as about whether or not actual engagement levels on the platform, the numbers that are being reported are actually true. Uh, considering there has been some data that has come out previously, which kind of conflicts what we're hearing now and um, some of the claims that Elon has made in the past too. So. For me, I see this just, let's just muddy the water even more because I know they're really wanting to bring more advertisers over to Twitter or X. And I don't know if this, I know they're trying to show that more people are using X, but I think there's been other things that have happened in the past that just muddy it up and we don't really know what to think. Yeah, I, I kind of agree here. They, um, as you say, the, the numbers have increased, I think it's by 20 million monthly users year over year. Yeah. But uh, when you look at all the other data, it's like, where are these people coming from? The daily users don't appear to have gone up. And um, yeah, so where, where are the numbers coming from? I believe uh, many lawyers have often said, um, you know, you can make statistics, tell any story you want sort of thing. And is, it, is this a, a case of them um, just slicing the numbers the way they want to, to make it tell their story? I'm not sure. Yeah. 
You know, and it's interesting about X, because I've been talking to a lot of clients in recent weeks as I've been doing some work. They're all kind of asking me the same question about X is like, where should we stand on it? And I think this will be something we'll talk about in a future podcast, because at one time, I think it was kind of the social media darling. Everybody loved it because it wasn't Facebook and that it was neat and different and you had to keep things short and and og tweet deck was there and then you know it kind of got maybe a little bit stale and now we're into this whole new realm of x where um it's kind of made a bit of an abrupt turn for and mm-hmm. a lot of people in their minds are like is this worth staying on should i go somewhere else i know usage statistics for threads came out recently too yeah. um so maybe we can do a comparison one day you love data I'll yeah some comparisons on the next episode ian's gonna walk us through data (laughs) no and one final one that was just in the news just the other day i think like two days ago uh, reuters is reporting that alphabet has walked away from a deal to buy hubspot we've talked about the whole google hubspot deal for a few months now i think we've mentioned on multiple podcasts um and it looks like it just is completely dead now it wasn't a whole lot to the story but that it looks like it's just they've kind of just walked away from it so i thought it was going to be really fun and and could really bring two kind of powerhouses together but you know what obviously something didn't work out from this report and yeah i guess we move on it didn't give any information about why it was just not ton not tons no hopefully there's some more that comes out because yeah i don't know i kind of thought it was a match made in heaven yeah yeah but whatever we move on 